I've said this once on this program, and I'm going to say it again. In fact, I probably said it more than once, but democracy in America is dying. We have a billionaire president who actually received 3 million less votes than his opponent. We have two billionaires currently running for president, albeit on the opposite side, trying to buy the election. There was a 2014 Princeton University study by Drs. Gillens and Page that found that policy outcomes aren't dictated by normal citizens. It's elites and special interests who actually get to dictate what policies are passed. So democracy is dying. And the thought of it is very depressing. I don't really think we ever had, you know, a real, full, thriving democracy. It's kind of this ongoing project where you start out with this base democracy where some people vote. And the goal ultimately is to make suffrage universal, expand civil rights and civil liberties. But we're going backwards, essentially, right? Democracy is being eroded. And everyone should be concerned, but you have Republicans who love to joke about democracy dying even more. For example, Donald Trump, he often jokes about, you know, maybe staying in power uh, longer than two terms. So, for example, he tweeted out this sign that says Trump 2024. On top of that, he posted a video that shows him staying in office basically forever. You know, it's meant to be quirky. It's not to be taken seriously. The music is supposed to be, you know, lighthearted. Whatever, it's a joke. Super funny, right? Aren't you laughing? No? Well, then you must be a triggered little snowflake. But look, democracy is already dying, so there's not much of a mood in this country to um, think about the prospect of someone staying in office longer than they are constitutionally allowed to do so. But nonetheless, you know, the Republican Party, who claims to be the most patriotic, loves to joke about Trump being a dictator. Uh, Mike Huckabee, one of the uh, biggest Trump bootlickers and ass kissers in the country, recently also joined in on the joke, tweeting, I'll be on Sean Hannity tonight on Fox News at 9 p.m. and will explain how Donald Trump will be eligible for a third term due to the illegal attempts by Comey, Democrats, and media attempting to oust him as president. So that's why I was named to head up the 2024 re-election. <laughs> hilarious mike fuckaby hilarious hilarious now of course he's joking duh um but <laughs> this goes without saying you don't get to be eligible for a third term because you know effectively you think your opponents were mean to you that's not the way that it works because we have something known as the 22nd amendment of the u.s constitution which says quote no person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice now fun fact about the 22nd amendment is that it was ratified in 1951 which is six years after fdr died now remember he died in office he served more than ter two terms. He kept getting elected over and over and over again because social democracy was incredibly popular. So they ratified the 22nd Amendment because they didn't think there would be any other way to compete with him and other individuals who would, you know, come after him because it was that popular. Um, but now it's in the Constitution. Now you cannot serve more than two terms. Otherwise, you are violating the Constitution. And that goes without saying, obviously Donald Trump would not be eligible to run for a third or a fourth term. Now, I'm not worried about Donald Trump staying in power, but here's why this is fucking stupid and why the most patriotic people, at least who claim to be the most patriotic, they're just big hypocrites by joking about this. Because as it stands, you know, we're at a time in American politics where our government is already violating the Constitution. We saw the Eighth Amendment brazenly violated under Bush when he decided to torture human beings. The Fourth Amendment is still being eroded as we speak. Congress just voted to reauthorize the Patriot Act. Democrats too. Uh, the First Amendment is being violated by Donald Trump. He just recently signed an executive order that is a crackdown on free speech that he doesn't like. BDS, namely. He also gutted the Johnson Amendment, which allows religious organizations to engage in political activity and allow them to keep their tax-exempt status. Now, it doesn't matter that this is a violation of the First Amendment because it says that there must be a separation between church and state. He still did it anyway, and he did it unilaterally via executive order, signing his pen. So at a time when the Constitution is already brazenly being violated by our government, it's not inconceivable to a lot of people that, you know, the 22nd Amendment would also be another amendment that is just ignored.
as if it doesn't exist. That being said, I don't believe Trump will stay in longer because he's an idiot. But still, joking about this, it has a negative effect on culture. And it's especially troubling given that Donald Trump supporters are like a cult. They will follow him anywhere he goes. It doesn't matter if he kills someone and it's on videotape. He'll tell everyone that, you know, it was a doctored video and they'll believe him. So there's this cult of personality around Donald Trump. Someone at a recent event, I want to say in 2018, just said that she never thought she'd be, you know, okay with this idea of Trump being a dictator. But if anyone was going to be a dictator, she would want it to be Donald Trump. I'm paraphrasing, but this is her specific remarks. I, I'm so upset about the fact that, uh, you know, whatever we're doing here, we have got so much trash that it re supposedly representing us in Washington, how... And, and, and as this lady said, they should be responsible, Sherrod Brown and the rest of them, Nancy Pelosi and all of them, that when these things are happening and they come out and try and justify it and sit around and make up words like we're racist or whatever stupid things they come up with in order to deflect their behavior on us, that we should be able to go after them. They're supposed to represent us. Hang on for a second, hang on a second. Are you a committeeman? Okay, you're gonna see this guy right here. Seriously, if you wanna take it back, you know, we're a volunteer organization that Chris is leading. It's gonna do the wall and other things to get this movement going. But at the end of the day, it's citizen involvement. It's citizen involvement and volunteering and helping us. But the one thing you can do is what the gentleman just said. Just be a, a, just be a precinct man. If you be a precinct man, you start to take over the Republican Party. You take over the Republican Party, then you've got guys like Tancredo and Kobach that you can support, and we can start to win again. Well, I, you know, I would just like to say... Um, you can take the trash out. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I just like to I say, tell you what, let's get... We need one life. more question. Can you hand the mic to the uh, woman okay, in the back? I just want to say this. Yes, ma'am. Never in my life did I think I would like to see a... D dictator. But if there's going to be one, I want it to be Trump. Yay! Steve Bannon was very excited at the prospect of Donald Trump becoming a dictator. So here's the thing. These individuals who claim to be the most patriotic, who always stand for the flag, who hump the flag, they are fucking hypocrites if they continue to play around and maybe flirt a little bit with this idea that, you know, maybe dictatorship isn't that bad of an idea. Trump probably isn't going to be the one to be a dictator, but in the event America does fall into dictatorship, understand that that will be catalyzed by the Republican Party because they have made it very clear that they do not give a damn about the Constitution. Mike Huckabee, I mean, I don't think he likes the current Constitution in spite of what he says. This is an individual who wants us to be an actual theocracy, right? If he had his way. So they don't care about the Constitution. They're hypocrites. So don't allow them to continue to monopolize discourse and tell everyone that they're the most patriotic. That is nonsensical because if you're patriotic, you would follow the Constitution, and you wouldn't flirt with the idea of somebody staying in power longer than they are constitutionally allowed to. And again, it is not inconceivable for a president to one day violate the 22nd Amendment. Republicans are ruthless. They are gerrymandering the fuck out of districts across this country. They're imposing voter ID laws. Voters are being purged from the rolls at alarming rates in almost every single state. Democrats have closed primaries as well, which exclude people from participating in certain states. I mean, we have large sums of money flooding elections. So democracy is already dying. So forgive us for not finding it funny when you joke about this. So don't let these fucking ghouls and hypocrites tell you that they're patriotic and they care about the country they are just about obtaining power and you know the uh the ends justify the means that's the way that they view the world so democrats need to be more ruthless and push back against these ghouls because um these are monsters and you know if trump isn't a dictator then they will probably want someone else ideally someone who's more competent to be dictator one day i don't like i don't trust these people they already are just rolling back protections that we have, civil rights, civil liberties. So we should always be cognizant of the fact that, you know, democracy is something that is fragile and it's not, it's not going to last forever, right? Every single democracy, empirically speaking, at 
some point in time ends up dying. Countries democratize all the time and they die, right? Relatively frequently. Now, those are, you know, baby democracies, young democracies that are usually a little bit more vulnerable. We've had institutions that have existed for hundreds of years, but nothing is permanent. So democracy isn't something that's permanent. So joking about this, you know, it's not like it's inconceivable that America would one day become a full-blown dictatorship. I don't think that's going to happen in the near future, but it starts, you know, by slowly but surely eroding civil rights and civil liberties. You know, it's, it's the way that we chip away at anything that's cherished. Death by a thousand cuts. Democracy is absolutely no different. So the point is don't let these idiots claim that you know they're patriotic because they don't care about the constitution they don't care about the country they just say that because it makes them look better in their view the humanist report is fake news mike only cares about crazy bernie and his wacky socialist ideas sad very sad i'm unsubscribing <laughs>